Today on Two Crazy Ketos, I'm gonna show you what we use to break a fast, and I'll get into it right after this. Hey, what's up family? My name is Joe and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kinda talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we also have a website which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that little bell icon so that you are notified every single time we upload a new video. So today I wanna to show you how we make our bulletproof bone bras because this is how we break our extended fast. Now by extended fast, I'm talking about the 24, 36, 48, 72 hour fast. Not so much the 16, 18 hour intermittent fasting, but you can use this for that as well. One of the reasons we really like Kettle and Fire is because Kettle and Fire uses actual marrow to make their bone bras instead of using stock like some of the other companies. They also have apple cider vinegar and some good healthy vegetables in there. So it just tastes delicious. So I want to get into exactly how we make our bone broth because one of the reasons we like to break our fast with bulletproof bone broth is because when you're coming off of that extended fast, your gut is super sensitive. You don't want to like eat a super fatty heavy meal. First of all, you're going to get full really quick. It's been 24, 36, 48, 72 hours since you've eaten. So you don't want to like break it with a bunch of carbs or a bunch of like heavy fats and proteins because you're just gonna super spike your insulin because everything is super sensitive. So we like to break it with a bone broth and then about 30 minutes to an hour later, we eat our regular meal. So here's what we're gonna put in our bone broth. We're gonna start off, we're gonna have, we're gonna use the beef bone broth instead of the chicken today. And that's because when I break our fast, I like to get that extra collagen. Uh, most of our time, our fast are 48 to 72 hours. Uh, so we really wanna get some of that collagen back into our body. Then the next thing that I like to use is some Redmond Real Salt. Again, I just wanna bump back up my electrolytes. Even though I have been taking sodium through the entire fast, I like to just make sure I'm putting some more into my bone broth, plus it just makes it taste delicious. Next thing I'm gonna do is some cream of tartar, and I use a half a teaspoon of this, and the reason I like the cream of tartar is cream of tartar is very high in potassium, so I use about a half a teaspoon, which is gonna give me about 250 milligrams of potassium. Then I, I personally like to add in some turmeric, and for me, the reason I like the turmeric is because it helps with inflammation and it's also loaded with some antioxidants. But you could actually leave this one out if you don't like turmeric. Then I like to add a little bit of cayenne pepper. Now this is another one that's kind of optional. I like cayenne pepper. We've talked about it on our channel a lot, uh, but one of the things I really like about this is it's gonna help speed up my metabolism, kind of get me racing going again, so it's gonna help me digest all of this and get ready for my first meal. I put a lot in, but you wanna definitely do it to taste. I'm gonna put about a quarter of a teaspoon. I would probably say, unless you think, like things really hot, maybe start off with just a dash or an eighth of a teaspoon. You can always add more, but you can't ever take away. And then finally, the last thing we need is what's gonna make this a bulletproof bone broth. I'm gonna use some coconut oil. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of it. And the reason I like to use coconut oil is it's gonna kill off any bad bacteria that I may have in my gut still. So coming out of a fast, you know, the whole idea is the autophagy, resetting your gut. You still might have some bad uh, gut bacteria in there, so this will help kill it off. Plus it's got some MCTs. That's gonna give you a little bit of extra energy, a little bit more brain function as you're going along. So let's get into how to do this. Okay, we're gonna put all this stuff to the side. I actually have everything pre-measured out. Now I'm gonna do this in my Vitamix, but if you don't have a Vitamix, you can use any kind of blender. You can use an immersion stick blender. You can even use one of those magic bullets if you have it. Just be careful with that because you're really not supposed to put hot liquids in there. So when you open it up, make sure you're taking care because there's a lot of pressure built up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our Vitamix and uh, we're gonna take our bone broth, which I've already warmed up. Sometimes I actually like to add some extra water to it, but today we're not going to. We're just gonna use one container, which is a double serving of the kettle and fire. I'm gonna add in a nice heaping tablespoon of coconut oil, about a half a teaspoon of salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric. I happen to like the taste of turmeric. Again, if you don't like it, you don't have to add it in there. A half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, 
and then about, I'm using about a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And again, cayenne pepper, be careful. If you don't like it, just use a little bit or you can omit it. I just happen to like it because it really speeds up my metabolism. I'm gonna put the cover on here and then just turn it on for just a quick second. And we're done. Take a look at that. What I really like about this is it gets that nice froth on there. It tastes delicious. And what I'll do is I will sip on this for, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes. And then from there, I'll wait about another 15 to 20 minutes and you know, I'll have my regular meal. Now, if you don't like coconut oil, if you have an aversion to that, you can also use some butter. Uh, I would use about a tablespoon of butter. I just happen to really like the coconut oil. It doesn't give it a coconut flavor, but there are some benefits that you're gonna get from that coconut oil from those long chain fatty acids. Uh, so this is how we make our bulletproof bone broth. Unfortunately, I actually can't taste this right now on camera because we are in the middle of a 72 hour fast. And if I drink this, it's going to break my fast. So I'm gonna actually put this in the refrigerator, store it, and anybody can drink it later on in the day. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you've ever made a bulletproof bone broth, and also let us know what seasonings you like to add to yours. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell icon so that you are notified every single time we upload a new video. Until next time, bye.